So in this video, we're going to set up the project and we're going to use this GitHub repository, which contains some starter code in order to do that. And there will be a link to this below the video. The repository is called HTMX Contact Hub. And this contains a Django project, it's called Contact Hub. And there's a single application called Contacts within that project. So this contains the starter code and each video will have a branch within this repository. Now to get started, you need to clone this and you can use the git clone command. I already have that project locally here and I've opened it in VS Code. And within that parent directory, we're going to set up a Python virtual environment. So what we're going to run here is the python-m command and we're going to use the venv module in Python. And let's create a virtual environment called venv htmx. And once we set this up, we're going to take a look at the starter code and what's provided in that. Now you'll notice when that command completes, we have the virtual environment directory here on the left hand side. And we can actually activate that environment. If you're on Windows, it's in the scripts directory and it's the activate script. If you're on Mac OS or any kind of Unix system, it's going to be in a bin directory and you can use the source command in order to activate that. Now on Windows, we're going to go to the scripts directory and we're going to run this activate script. That will activate the environment. And then what we have within the starter code is this requirements.txt file. So if we take a quick look at that, you can see the requirements for the starter code here. We have Django version 5.1.3. And we're also using Django extensions here as well, which is a convenient package for Django applications. And there are some other dependencies that Django uses here as well. So in order to install those, what we're going to do is we're going to CD into the HTMX contact hub directory. And we can run pip install and then the dash r command. And the file name is requirements.txt. That's going to install all of those into the virtual environment. And once that's completed, we can clear the terminal. And there's two more commands and it's python manage.py. And we're going to run the migrate command to create the SQLite database. If we look on the left, this creates that db.sqlite3 file. And that's going to be the database for this project. And the final command I want to run here is manage.py and it's run server. And that's actually going to start the Django development server. And we can then take a look at the application on localhost 8000. So I'm going to go to this URL here. And you can see here the amazing website we've got here in the starter code. It just has a header that says contact manager. Now let's take a quick look at what's in the starter code. So in the contacts Django application, we have a templates directory that contains a base template. And then contacts.html extends that base template. And that is what contains this H1 header. And if you look at views.py, we have a single Django view in this application. And all it's doing at the moment is rendering contacts.html. And we have an empty context at the moment. We're going to build that up as we progress through this series. And we're going to create some Django views for HTMX based functionality. Now, one thing we've added to the starter code in models.py is this user model here. So we've extended the abstract user from Django. And that's a custom user model that we're using in the application. And if we go to the Django settings.py file, in the starter code, if we scroll to the bottom here, we have the auth user model and we're setting it to the user model in the contacts application. So that's the starter code. It's very basic and we've overridden the Django user model. We're now going to add a couple of things to the project that we're going to need and that's HTMX itself as well as Tailwind CSS and Daisy UI and that's going to be used for styling the web application. So let's start by installing Tailwind CSS and Daisy UI. I'm going to go to the Daisy UI documentation. And Daisy UI is the most popular component library for Tailwind CSS. If we go to the documentation at the top here, there's an installation page. And what we can do is install this using the Tailwind plugin. And we're going to see an example of that towards the end of the series. But just to get up and running, we're going to start by using the CDN. And note the warning here, CDN files are not recommended for production. And that's because you can't purge unused styles. And the file size that's shipped to your clients is going to be very large. But we're going to start out by using the CDN. Now to get started, all we need is to copy these two elements and we can paste them into our base template. So if we go to the templates directory here, we have this base template and here we have the title of the page within the head tag. Underneath that, I'm going to paste these in and that is basically the link tag here for the Daisy UI styles. And we also have the script tag for Tailwind CSS itself. Both of these are coming from a CDN. But as I said, we're going to change that later in the series. Now let's quickly test these out by adding some Tailwind styles to contacts.html. So we have this contact manager header here. I'm going to add a class attribute. And let's make it bigger here by using the text 4xl class. And that comes from Tailwind CSS. And we also have text success. And that is a class that's added by Daisy UI. And let's add some margin bottom to the contact manager as well. 
we can do that with the MB4 class. If we go back to the browser now and go to this page, when we refresh the page, you can see the styles have changed. We now have that text success color, which is a kind of green color that we have here. And the text is a bit larger as well. So Tailwind is installed and it's working. And so is Daisy UI. Let's now move on and install HTMX. I'm going to go to the HTMX documentation. And again, there'll be links to these pages below the video. HTMX is a package that allows you to access modern browser features directly from HTML. And if you want to know more about that, you can check out this course here. It's called HTMX for Beginners, and that's on the Net Ninja website. And that's going to give you a comprehensive introduction to HTMX itself and to the basic and most important features of the package. Now we're going to build out an application from those features. So let's get started with that. And let's start by installing HTMX itself. Now again, we're going to use the CDN for HTMX at the moment. Later, we'll move that to a build process. Let's go back to base.html and I'm going to paste that in here. So we have a second script tag and that's loading HTMX version 2.0.4. So now that we've set up the application and we've added Tailwind, Daisy UI and HTMX, we're going to get started with building this application. And we're going to do that in the next video. And we're going to start by building a Django model that's going to represent a contact in this system. So we'll get to that in the next video.